Hello, this is First Alert Chief Meteorologist Robert Shields. We're coming up on 1 p.m. and I'm joining you from my home office uh, where if you've been watching our newscasts over the last mm -hmm. several weeks, you know this is now my home weather station. And I wanted to tell you our First Alert weather team is on top of a risk of severe weather today. We have our team together. So I will be operating from uh, my desk here at home we have our first alert meteorologist, Ryan Weekman, who truly is our severe weather expert. He is going to be in at the station in the studio, and we will do uh, what we like to call tag team weather. Um, just not both in the studio. I will be at home. He will be there. And that is a result of the, of the uh, pandemic and our rules of distancing. And so we will be working together from remote. Our meteorologist, Chris Vickers, is also all over this one today, and he will be helping out as well. Now I want to get to the meat of the matter. For that, I'm going to um, turn the camera around so you can see the computer in front of me. And from home, thanks to modern technology, we're able to see everything we need. I can see everything here I would see in at the station. And we're still expecting possible wind gusts of 70 plus miles per hour. Wind damage and power outages are going to be a distinct possibility today. And there is a possible tornado. Now, I know when we say the word tornado, everyone gets very riled up. But the risk is greater than zero. It's a possibility this afternoon. So we have to pass that information along to you. It's our duty. And we'll be watching these storms as they develop. Now, let's get to what's going on right now. Because if you've stepped outside, it is roasting. Temperatures are approaching 90 degrees. This is part of the ingredients today. Humidity very high. Wind is whipping in out of the south. And as I advance to a little bit wider view, you're going to see 88 in Fremont right now, 87 in Oak Harbor. Even in Marblehead, it's 85. 88 in Napoleon, Wauseon. And this afternoon, we have crews going out to the west end of our viewing area and down to the Finley area. So we're going to have you covered on the ground as well. Uh, should any storms get really bad and produce damage here in our area. There is a severe thunderstorm watch that is now up and runs until 6 p.m. The Weather Service has put this up for the western two tier of counties here in northwest Ohio. That means Williams, Fulton, Defiance, Henry, Paulding, Putnam, down into Van Wert and Allen counties. This will be extended eastward as the storm progresses. And I know we said possible tornado, and this is a severe thunderstorm watch. The main threat today will be uh, Boeing segments, straight line type of winds, but they can exceed 70 miles per hour. And that is uh, uh, plenty strong to do damage in the area. Here's the latest. Now, if you're in Williams County, the sky's probably looking dark and you're seeing a couple of returns. But wait till I show you where the real storms are going. And if you've been following our forecasts, you know this is exactly what we predicted. Between noon and 2 p.m., storms would begin to fire over Indiana, and these look really mean. Just west of Warsaw and up through Goshen, and that's east of South Bend, and these are likely producing wind damage right now. Severe thunderstorm warnings are up for those. And if I open up the view, another warning has been posted uh, down near Peru in Indiana, coming across the farm fields there. And what you see developing right along the state line is just kind of a prefrontal line. We're waiting for the really uh, uh, rough stuff, which we'll get here a little bit later. Timing on this, let's have a look at it. The latest hour by hour forecast. And I'm going to step through this. That's 3 p.m. I apologize for my shaky hand there. There's 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. And look how fast these things are going to move. I mean, once they get really well organized, they could be going 50 to 60 miles per hour. That's why I've been saying you can't just look at the sky and say, oh, look, it's getting dark. You might have one minute or two minutes to get to shelter before potential really strong wind gusts. So let's go back through this timing once again. Here's 2 p.m., to 3 o'clock, to 4 o'clock, to 5 p.m. We could have arrival of storms here in Toledo, as I was telling you yesterday all day long, between 4 and 7 p.m. It's possible these things blow through the area and are already east of Toledo by 6 p.m. They're not going to lose steam heading east and into our easternmost counties. There's the time there, 7 p.m. I'm going to run all the way through this time one more time. And I'm happy to see nearly 2,000 of you have joined me today and are weather aware. 
on what could be a really rough afternoon. Watch the clock again, 2 p.m. There's three o'clock and between three and four, rapid thunderstorm development and movement toward the east. I know a lot of you are saying, what about my town? Now watch this, because I can't name all of them. But between three and 4 p.m., powerful storms could be coming into places uh, like Hudson, Michigan, um, down through Archbold, down through the middle of Putnam County, places like Continental, three to four coming through Defiance. And watch when we go from four to five. In that time frame, if this comes true and you're looking from Toledo area anywhere in Wood County, Monroe County to the west, I'm bouncing back between four and five o'clock. When you see that storm coming, if it's going 55 miles per hour and you're in the city, by the time you see it, it might be a mile away. That gives you one minute to take cover. So during this time frame, use our first alert weather app and be prepared for this to move in. And it all zooms east of I-75. But look at 6 p.m., Fremont, Fostoria, down to Upper Sandusky, Cary, Tiffin. You could be under the gun at this time. And then the storms continue to move east and out of the area. I'm going to try to avoid using cliche phrases, but there's the timing again. I know a lot of you have uh, men made mentions in here and asked questions. I'm going to leave this right here at 6 p.m. And that's where this broken line of storms will be at that time. Um, I don't want any of you to freak out. I don't want any of you to get scared. So um, surely just take a deep breath. Take your precautions. Um, I'll tell you what I did. I went out to the patio and I just locked everything up. I mean, anything that was light could blow around. I put in the garage. Uh, take it in, took down the wind chimes, mostly because I don't want to annoy the living daylights out of the neighbors today. And I see some of my coworkers popping on to check this out. I appreciate that a great deal. And our reporters are going to do a great job today and photographers out in the field uh, should anything uh, uh, get rough out there. So have your safety plan together. Be monitoring our feed. We'll be on the First Alert Weather app. We'll be on WTOL.com this afternoon. Um, put your trust in our team. Ryan Weekman is a great severe weather meteorologist. We had meetings uh, today discussing exactly what we expect to see and how we're going to handle it. Uh, and so I'm a little biased, but you've come to the right place for weather coverage through the course of this afternoon. Uh, this is Northwest Ohio and Southeast Lower Michigan. It's not often that we are right in the uh, heart of a risk of severe weather, but it's happening today. Uh, by the way, you'll recall we've had this first alert day up since last Thursday. One more time, I'm going to step through hour by hour for you. Then I'll show you the current radar, and I'll let you go about your afternoon. 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., the risk of powerful storms is going to move in very rapidly from the west. Keep devices charged up. Great point, Lance. Get them charged up and uh, be prepared in case you need to spend some time in the basement with it. Okay, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., the storms could uh, move into the Toledo area, cross I-75 by that time, even into places like Fostoria and Tiffin. It is a possibility, and they are going to go fast. Think of how fast it takes you to get from Toledo to Findlay. If you're going 60 miles an hour, these storms will be going just that fast. So, um, And then across to the east end of our viewing area by evening time. Uh, question we get a lot, Juan, and I appreciate that. Uh, what about people that live in trailers? If your community does not have a specified shelter for you to go to, um, on days like this, if you know someone that can uh, have you over that has shelter, really, I would prefer that. Um, if you don't, um, then you're going to have to stay in the interior of, uh, of your best place of shelter. Joe, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. What about White House Waterville area? Again, the timing for the Toledo metro area is 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., maybe 3.30 to 6 p.m., right in that time frame. So stay with us. you got a couple hours yet before the worst storm should get here. Let me show you where they are right now again. Um, first, I'll show you currently a severe thunderstorm watch that's up for the western half of our viewing area and Monroe County. 
And you'll see here that the sky is definitely dark in Williams County and there are some showers pumping up, but the worst of the stormy weather is developing right where we thought it would between noon and two, it's over in Indiana. Look at how nasty these storms are right now, heading up into Goshen, uh, northwest of Warsaw right now, just west of Turkey Creek. And if you look south from there, this is one solid line. Notice how the individual storms are going south to north, and then the entire line will be sweeping west to east. And that's what we timed through our area on the previous image. What kind of happens is once these storms get, get uh, really mature, the line will begin to gain momentum and move east more quickly. And we'll be following this through the afternoon. We have a great digital team and a digital presence at WTOL. Many people working from home today on our staff, and they're going to take care of this for you. Tom, is the 70 miles per hour for the whole string of storms? The 70 mile per hour plus is for individual thunderstorm wind gusts. So the line is not going to come through with 70 mile an hour winds across our entire viewing area all at once. But any one of these individual storms will produce down drafts or down bursts, gusts from those storms that are capable of snapping trees and uprooting trees. Where do I think it will hit the hardest? The northern end of our viewing area has a slightly higher uh, risk of powerful weather, but I think it could be in any county across our entire area. We should be streaming live on our weather app if you have it. Uh, once we get going with continuous coverage, you should be able to see that on your weather app. Um, I'm about to put a post up on my Facebook, so if you want to see that timing of the storms, you can see it uh, in a post that I'll put up. You won't have to deal with my shaky hand uh, here as we're looking at the screen. I really appreciate all of you uh, stopping uh, in here on Facebook, following us on Facebook. My personal uh, uh, work page is Robert Shields WTOL. Come over there. That's where you're going to find... Um, I'll post it in about five to 10 minutes, a timing for the afternoon. And again, we don't want you to be scared by this. Um, and we don't talk like this very often, but uh, these will be some powerful storms coming through today. And just want to make sure that uh, all of you have great lead time for it. Thanks so much for sticking with us. And I will see you, I'm sure, again this afternoon. Take good care.